Ah, my favorite. <laughs> oh, I love doing this stuff. Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. This is a day of firsts for me. This is the very first flat glass W900 that I've ever sold in almost 17 years of selling trucks here. This is the very first one. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. A big thank you to Blair and Kevin for purchasing it. Let's check this thing out. So, like I said, this is a brand new 2022 W9L flat glass. Yes, it is a flat glass. 42 inch flat top W9L. And it is spectacular. I love this truck. This is, you don't see these old school flat glass trucks around very often. It's the standard cab with the crawl through. But I remember growing up, my dad had one of these and I would crawl through into the bunk. It was a little bit bigger bunk on his truck, but uh, this is the only bunk that we currently offer with the flat glass. So you can get this truck in a day cab as well. Uh, not available with the Aerodyne bunk with the high cab. Uh, going into the 38s and, and so forth. So it's basically the only configuration that we can get this cab in. Wow. So this truck was ordered with a custom paint design. Uh, this is a design that I drew onto my program. Had a lot of people comment, oh, you didn't draw that design. Well, I do draw the design. I make it so we can see what it looks like before it goes on the truck. But it is uh, based off of the sprint design. So the sprint design has these three and then there's actually three more up on the bunk, but it was just way too busy on a small bunk. We just thought we just keep it with the three lines. So it's a little customized uh, off of a standard Kenworth paint design that they have. So, hey, if, uh, this, if you're new to this channel, I'd sure appreciate it if you did subscribe. Uh, I'd love it if you did that. So just click the link down in the bottom corner right over here and <coughs> and uh, hit subscribe. And if you wanna get notified about future videos, you can hit off that bell. That way you're gonna get uh, notified about those too. So please do that. Please subscribe to my channel. I would sure appreciate it. All right, so back to the spec here. It's a 250 inch wheelbase on this truck. On the front end here, we have a 13.2 front axle in a wide track configuration to improve turning radius. Uh, as far as the paint colors go, I forget what paint design this one here, but uh, I forget what the paint color is called. I'll look it up inside the cab there, but there is a beautiful metal flake in there. Uh, I think it's called graphite effect, if I'm not mistaken. I'll, uh, I'll double check that for you guys. 
And then we have the L0004 paint on the, no, sorry, that's the pearl white effect paint on there on the Sprint. So we order with the Texas bumper, no tow hook holes, just keeps it nice and clean. Uh, we have the seven ribs across the grill here. So we got, instead of the standard three, we got the seven. Um, as far as the front end goes here, the standard headlights, we'd put the LEDs on the fender. Same thing with the roof. And then uh, up top there's the factory visor. Now, my customers are gonna be doing some of their own customizations to this truck. Uh, Blair and Kevin, they're gonna be doing uh, doing a few things to it. So I'm gonna be doing this video again on this truck once it's all done and uh, a little bit more epic locations than in front of the store, but uh, I'm excited to bring that to you, but you'll have to wait. As far as the front end here, we did the elephant ears over top of the air intakes with the 15 inch air cleaners. And then these are the ones with the bolts on the inside. We have the moto mirrors, heated moto mirrors, and then we have the 60 inch tall, seven inch wide pipes is what the factory, uh, what we put on from the factory. We did the full polish package. So we have the stainless steel closeout panel right in here. We did not put the uh, kick panel on there in stainless, we kept that painted. And we did the uh, battery box in the polished along with the fuel tanks. So the fuel tank and the straps are polished as well. And Rob at Big Truck Detail, check him out on social media there. He did a fantastic job just shining this truck up. Just picked it up here about an hour ago. Uh, I ordered it with a custom frame layout so that the fuel tanks lined up perfectly and the straps lined up perfectly. We wanted to make sure everything was just symmetrical on this truck and it just turned out great. Uh, we ordered it with a cab access deck plate and the steps from the factory. So that comes here with the deck plate. And that also forces us to put on the grab handles. I wish it didn't, but uh, when you order one, you get all three. I prefer to keep the back of the cab clean, but uh, not always uh, an option. So anyhow, that's there. Uh, as far as the bunk goes, it is on air ride. So we have an air ride bunk, and then the cab is also air ride as well. Uh, you can see way behind those lines there. And this pipe, I wish it was connected, but it's not. Uh, just kind of how the factory does it now with uh, this cab, the day cab, it's a single exhaust pipe. Uh, it has the Kenworth AG400L suspension. Uh, this is the four bag with a 54 inch axle spread. And we have the Alcoa rims that are the uh, mirror polish. So these are not the Durabrites. These are mirror polish, you can get them a lot shinier. Uh, nine inch ride height, 24 inch sliding fifth wheel uh, from Holland. So it's kind of our standard go-to. Uh, this truck will be hauling Super Bs, so it is designed for uh, for that application. And the rear ends are the Dana Spicer High Performance 40s, so the DSH 40s with the oil pump on the uh, power divider and their 390 gear ratio. And we order this truck with uh, drum brakes all the way around just to keep con consistent with the rest of their trucks that they have in their fleet. Common parts, it's always a good thing. And then we have the large def tank with the uh, cover the stainless cover over top. So it's just a nice way to utilize it here and being on the farm uh, People I know I'm gonna get comments saying this is on the wrong side of the truck. Well, it's not it's where the customer wanted it They wanted to keep the driver's side clear for the steps and then the def tank on this side and they have the, their own fueling uh, For def at their farm so they can fill it up wherever they choose I'm excited to see some of the things that they're gonna do with uh, with the finished product here uh, cab skirts, sleeper skirts. I'm hoping to see some of those, uh, some air cleaner lights as well, but uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens. So I'm looking forward to coming back to this truck. Uh, we also ordered it with the, uh, without the windows in the bunk doors. The bunk is actually not even gonna be used on this truck uh, very often. It's, uh, so we basically kept the bunk uh, just for the extension of the paint and to make it look cool because <laughs> What's cooler than this configuration right here? Not much. I'm gonna open the hood here and uh, show you what's underneath. Now I have to kind of be careful here because yesterday when, uh, yesterday was Sunday actually, I fell off of a scooter at the skate park. Oh boy. And I fell straight on my tailbone. So I really, like I fell off and I slammed down super hard on my tailbone. So I really, oh, that hurts a bit. Really did a number. I'm not as young as my 
my kids and my nephews think I am. Here, uncle, try the scooter. Okay, no problem. Wham! <laughs> Up to the ground, wiped out. Not good. Okay, back to the truck here. So, uh, this is the Cummins Performance Series. Uh, it is a 605 1850 torque rating X15. And uh, we have the Davco 382 heated uh, and start aid fuel water separator right there. Uh, I put in these uh, bunk lights, sorry, the uh, engine compartment lights here. And when you order one, you get them both. Uh, as far as the front axle here, we have the uh, we have the drum brakes on here as well. And uh, we didn't do a front end drop on here. We wanted to have a little bit of height. So if you've noticed in my other videos here, this shackle is quite a bit lo longer. This is about a nine inch shackle. Uh, so that's uh, the standard factory shackle. Uh, so we didn't do anything with uh, altering the front end on this here. We did order it with the hood, heavy duty hood reinforcements right there and then the heavy duty hood hinge reinforcement, which is right across there. Uh, up on here, we have your washer fluid, your wa uh, oil fill, your oil check, sorry, your oil fill, your power steering. And then we have some circuits and fuses right up in there. And we'll go around the other side. And then on this side here, uh, we put the air dryer down here, which I actually have not seen that in a long time. I'm wondering if it's because of the bunk configuration that that's where we ended up putting it, but uh, that's where uh, where the air dryer is. And then uh, as far as the turbo, we got that right here. And then the HVAC system right over there. So very nice setup, lots of power, 605. This will pull like nobody's business. Ah, my favorite. <laughs> I love doing this stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Rob, for letting me finish this here. So cool. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> it's a bit of a chore now. All right. So we are back in the truck here now. So uh, I'll just kind of go over the dash and kind of what we did here on the interior. Uh, so on the door panel, uh, we have the uh, window lift controls and then here is your mirror controls. The door locks are right down there. And then over here is your bunk lights on the back, adjustment for the brightness on the dash. And then here's the cab lights, the bunk lights, and then uh, there's the engine fan and then the bunk lights on the side of the sleeper. Uh, we did order it with a full gauge package, so it does have the full gauges all the way across the whole thing. And then uh, the switches are fully utilized as well. So we have the uh, DPF, your PTO auxiliary lights for under the cab. Sorry, those are on the air cleaner lights. And then uh, air traction control, uh, fifth wheel slide. Here is the uh, hazards, your Jake brake, cruise control, your air suspension dump, and your uh, power divider and diff locks. Uh, down here is the control for the uh, for this unit right here, the information center, and then there is the uh, HVAC controls. Uh, it does have an 18-speed manual transmission with a chrome shifter, uh, so this is an option. It's a really nice touch. I like to put it on here. Uh, now you'll notice here, this is a totally customized interior. Um, you, maybe you don't notice it, but uh, you'll notice how the paneling around here is all black. So this is all black. However, the roof line is all diamond VIT and the back is also diamond VIT. So the customer, we kept the spec as cost effective as we could. And a way that we did that, because we didn't actually need the bunk on this truck, I ordered it with the Seattle package for just the cab and we left the bunk in the Splendor design, which has the, basically the stitching in the straight pattern. So the roof line would have been all smooth with like three buttons in the roof. And then we would have had smooth paneling on the doors here as well. Um, but we ended up going with the diamond stitched and thanks to Travis at two B's for doing the Seattle package in this truck. It just looks so good. Uh, 
and it saved a pile of money from doing it from the factory. So really cool way of, uh, of customizing it. And it keeps everything with the, the black, kind of goes with the theme of the truck. And then same thing up here, that would be in a, um, a wood grain otherwise, but it's like a black with a bit of a sparkle to it too. So it's kind of cool. I, I really like that. So uh, we did order it with a leather wrap steering wheel and then uh, your shifter controls are right here. So as far as the seats go, we ordered it with the leather air cushion premium plus seat. So it has the additional lumbar supports and then they are heated as well. So you can see the heat here and the driver's side is the same one as well. Uh, you do get this little cup holder when you order the seat. And then we ordered it with the Stolbull armrests. So those can flip up and out of the way. So you have a little bit more room getting into the bunk. So let me just show you in the bunk here really quick. Ooh, little little uh, crawl through. So I remember as a kid being inside this style of bunk with my dad and my brother and I would roll around uh, as my dad would go around Cloverleaf. So I had a ton of fun doing that. So this truck just brings back a lot of memories to, uh, to that day. And I remember underneath the bed here, I'll show you guys in a second, uh, we would actually go under the bed and there's a little cubby there where you can keep your duffel bag, but uh, it's a great place for a five-year-old to hang out and uh, while the truck is going down the road, lots of fun. So anyhow, as far as the bunk goes, uh, like I said, we do have the diamond uh, stitching in the cab and then we have the Splendor in the bunk and that is totally custom. And this, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is how it used to be. So you used to get the straight stitching like this and then you would have in the cab, you'd have the diamond stitching. So this is really a throwback to the old school. Uh, I really love it. There is a little storage compartment right up here. Just give this a little twist and then you have a little shelf there. You can keep that and that's just standard when you order this bunk, you get that. There you go. And then on this side here, we have uh, basically the speakers in the bunk. Oh, cool. I didn't even realize this was up here. So you got to lie down to see this, but you have your bunk light here and then you have your uh, HVAC system for the back here and then uh, some speakers back here. So that is really cool. I didn't even realize that was in here. This, Like I say, this is the first time I've ever sold or specced. I, I've specced these before. I've just never sold one. So I don't really get to see these very often. Um, so that's basically the bunk here. We got a little power outlet up above and uh, I did order it with a rear bunk window. So that is uh, right there. I just figured I'd close it up just for the video. And then we have the emergency doors on both sides with the vents in there as well. So um, yeah, that's a little bit about this truck. All right, so that's it for this week's video. Again, a huge thank you to Blair and Kevin uh, for purchasing this truck and the family. Uh, if you wanna check out their social media page, I'll uh, put the link up there to their Instagram account so you can check them out and give them a follow. You'll see uh, the progress of this truck and how they are uh, gonna be finishing it off here. Hopefully they're documenting it, but I'm thinking that they might, they might do that. So uh, I mentioned it earlier in the video. If you wanna to subscribe to my channel, please do that. I would sure appreciate it if you did. Uh, have a goal here this year. Uh, I'd like to get up to 100,000 followers, which uh, sounds like a big feat, but uh, uh, love to get there. So I need your help in doing that. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. If you want to get a hold of me or reach out to me, you can go to my website. It's thekenworthguy.com. Just click the link above there, and then you'll also find all my other social media sites that I have listed. Uh, I'm on WhatsApp, on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Snapchat, you name it, I'm on it. So TikTok and, and so on. So uh, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, so excited to bring this one to you and we will see you on next week's video.